Now this year's virtual Harvard Marathon wrapped up today. Fox 61's Gabby Molina spoke to runners about what the experience was like. The finish line at the Hartford Marathon looks different this year, but the excitement is still here. Yeah. It's still just as much fun. We miss the 5,000 people in the crowd, but we run with a fun group. Instead of running through the streets of Hartford, this year's virtual marathon took the race to streets and trails all over Connecticut. Despite not having the typical race day experience, avid runners still made the best of it. Well, we have come together and supported each other through every trail, every street, every movement. It's been amazing. At popular running spots around the state, people participated in the mobile medal experience to take pictures at their own finish lines while supporters cheered them on. Given that I had to walk a lot of the last five miles just to be able to run across the finish line and see the crowd there, to have them all cheer for you was fantastic. While training was also different this year, the race did give participants something to look forward to. You couldn't do anything else this summer or uh, your normal summer activities, so plenty of time to, uh, to get in your training. So actually it turned out to be a, a great summer to train for this. And it also gave them the chance to take on new challenges with four days to complete different races. On Thursday, I did did the full marathon. Friday I did the 5K. Yesterday I did the half marathon while I was supporting the husband doing his first marathon. And today, right after here, I'm gonna go finish my 10K. Something else made possible this year? 100% of the proceeds from registration fees are going to charity. In Hartford, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.